The user row and column feature for Universal Reports introduces a powerful new functionality to add spacers and calculated row or columns to the report. Combined with some light customizations to the out-of-the-box conditional formatting rules, you can create a highly customized Universal Report that can dynamically expand and collapse as you work with your report in Excel. Here is an existing Universal Report that I've already added some customized conditional formatting to. When I highlight my row range, I can open the conditional formatting editor to view and modify my rules. I've added some alternating highlights as well as some heavier borders. Now that I'm happy with my formatting, I want to create more space in the report to improve its visual appeal. I'll start by adding a new user row below my unit's row so that there is a gap between it and gross margin. After the report recalculates, my new spacer is placed just where I want it. I envision that this report will be used to expand out the year column header to see the underlying quarters. However, I want there to be a space between the year and its expanded quarters, so I'll add a new user column after the year. You'll see that for stacked hierarchies on the axis, there are a few different options on how I can add the new column to give me more flexibility. With my spacer added, I'm ready to toggle out the quarters and add some more customization. I'm going to add a few more user columns because I want to add in a calculated column representing 1H and 2H respectively as Excel some formulas. With all my user columns added, I'm ready to rename some of the headers and add some Excel formulas into the report. I start by adding the formula into the cell and modify its references. When I right-click the formula cell, I can select the new Apply to Column option in the context menu. A warning shows, since I'm adding the formula to a toggled intersection. I need to be mindful of this since toggled formulas can shift positions and break formula references in some cases. By applying the formula to the column, this will allow me to both cascade that formula down the entire column and persist it so that I don't lose it when I collapse the year again. I'll do this for the 1H column as well. Now that I'm happy with the result, my universal report is ready to go. As I hoped, toggling and expanding the year header is working as expected and persisting my new user columns with the Excel formulas. This feature, unique to universal reports, has greatly expanded my ability to customize my report so that it's flexible and has my preferred formatted appearance. If for some reason I want to reformat it from scratch, I can take advantage of the new right-click menu option in the workbook tab to completely reset all of my conditional formatting rules back to their original defaults. I wonder what color scheme I should try next?